Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Friday, January the 20th. My name is Barry Hainerson. I'm the moderator of our trading room. This is the address to get into the room. And I share my screen all day long and I get live on the mic at 9 a.m. up to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, without dwelling on it too much, what a day uh, or what a difference uh, one day makes. Uh, no nonsense today in the room and uh, screen sharing was up and rolling. So let's get right at it. Uh, personally, this was a very, very good day for me. Um, and also, I just want to uh, make sure in, in the, the text part of this uh, video uh, that you're going to be sent, I guess, an email that you'll get. You're going to see, hopefully, um, uh, the link is, is going to be there. Uh, but we are having our open house on February the 6th, what we call our open house, February 6th to 10th. That's five trading days, Monday to Friday, in which you'll be able to take uh, part in a, uh, in our entire program. Our, our trade idea is premium, real-time, uh, live, real-time, and it'll cost you $8.88 for the week. So it's a tremendous opportunity for you to try us out. A lot of people are looking for demos all the time. And uh, yes, we do have a demo, but this is this is basic. This is the fully featured program, live, real-time for $8.88. And of course, the room will be uh, open, um, you know, so we'll be able to help you while you're um, trying to, not say learn the program, but just the ins and outs. We'll have the webinars, of course, but also let's say the live trading room will be open also. So um, if, if for some reason this doesn't work, uh, just send an email to, um, you know, the, the info at tradeideas.com and ask for me. <laughs> okay, just uh, right there, info and say you want to take the demo or sorry, you want to participate in what we call the open house. All right, first one. This turned out to be such a, a great, great trade. Um, SGY. Now, SGY has been uh, active in the past. Some of you probably may have traded it in the past. Very, very crazy stock. Let me just get the mark up here. Now, I just want to show you on, on the daily what I'm talking about. If you've never traded this one in the past, you know, I have to even move further back. You know, this went this went from about five dollars all the way to twenty five dollars in a looks like about three weeks, and then you know, I had the total collapse, another collapse, etc. I think it's gone through some financings and all that. I don't, you know, people say, well, how can you trade a stock like that? It's had all sorts of baggage. Well, you know, on on the day that it does this, we don't really care, do we? We just want to get into the into it and uh, and you know try to get a good entry and um, you know. Take it. This is, by the way, this is why I got into this one. It, it looked a lot easier on the five minute. So here's the initial pop. So we all watched that initial pop. We all probably had alerts on that. Here was the, the pullback. And then for me, the key was, okay, it took all this out, broke over the whole number, and I got in at 816. Okay, this is not quite right. This, well, is eight, yeah, there it is, 816. So I got in at 816. I was able to sell, I sold some at uh, 8.44 on the way up, sold a little bit more at 8.35, I believe, and then you see, I could withstand this pullback. Now that happened really, really quickly. Um, had it remained there, I would have got out, but this pulled back down and it popped right back up. Had, you know, another gyration here. So, you know, if I hadn't sold some already here, this would have probably got me out of my entire position. But luckily, I was able to hold on through all of this and then look what happened. Uh, this line here represents a 200-day moving average and I was able to hold on, um, watch to see what was going to happen at that 200-day, sold some uh, on the break above the 9 level. I actually was waiting to see if I could get 916 on the bid. Uh, that's you know that would give me a dollar. I did sell some at 910, but look at this now. So this is just turning into uh, just a fabulous trade for, for for the day. A lot of us in the room took it. Now my other trade, which I'm um, you know I said I'm kind of proud of. This is Gmo. Now take a look at why I was looking at this. Now I saw this one. Watching this one a little bit uh, yesterday, probably saw it, and this came. Though I think Real said he, he pointed it out, and he may have, but I know this came on, on the trend reversal, and you can see what's happened here. 
you know, this is obviously uh, trending down and then the massive trend down and then maybe the reversal was starting. So this is something that I was definitely watching and I had an alert. Let me just uh, get back to the 15 minute time frame. So expand this just a little bit there. There we go. So I had an alert set just over the, um, I want to make sure this is right. I had an alert set right around here, actually. And I think it was because at that point it was taking out, uh, let me just go back to the daily. There was a reason. Trust. Oh, I see. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You see how that, that, uh, there was the high right there at 3350. So that was two days ago. So I was kind of waiting to see if it could take out that. So that, that's, that's basically what my, my thinking was. So when it took out, uh, 3350, I got into the trade and I, I basically said, okay, I am looking to swing this one. Now, you know, I don't swing very often. Here, sorry about that. Let's put a mark there. That's close enough. So I started to swing this one right here. And and I said in the room that I was looking to add this if it got over 34. And I actually did. I got in at the 34.10. I added some at 34.10. Right. That's close enough. So I added some right here. And look, what a, what a great move. What a tremendous move it's made, uh, 3480. I did sell some at 3475, about here. And, you know, I have to figure out really what I want to do. I mean, I don't want this to, you know, go all the way back down to, to, to this level. Um, I may sell some more and this hold on, but I am really, really wanting to swing this one. I mean, I think this is... This has just turned out to be a really nice trade. And that's why when it's, you know, you can use that trend reversal. You can use it for intraday trading. It's not just for swing trading, especially if you get a, a good setup, which obviously this was. Um, my other longer term swing that I've held for, well, for me anyway, this has just turned into a great trade. I have finally sold some at 540. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, daily chart. You can see what I was looking at. Now I know broken record. This is not truly a gap. I think what they did is they spun off a, a, a company. So this is this is why this 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 looks like a big gap down. But bottom line is uh, right at, right here is where I got into this trade. So I've I've held this for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's almost an eternity for me. And this is now this day is the biggest day. You know, uh, look, look, look at all the other candles. Just been inching up. Only had the one red candle there. So I was in at five, uh, 421. And I finally did make my first sale here at uh, 540. Really, let me put it there. There's really no reason. I know it says 541, but really no reason for me to get out of this yet. Um, you know, we'll just have to see how much more. People might be looking at that thinking this is a true gap. So... The other one that uh, worked out really well for a lot of us in the room was uh, Herbalife. Uh, Herbalife, let me get to the... Uh, and you can see also another potential void fill. Let me get to the 15-minute chart. And we had... Let's see now. This was uh, creamed. I guess what happened is that they basically said that their Q4 sales uh, looked like they were going to be lower. So that was the got kind of sort of pre-earnings guidance, so this is what caused this one to drop. But I definitely got very intrigued uh, with this one. Should have got in more here. Yeah, no, I did get here. Jeez, I'm sorry. My, uh, I got in at 52.21. So 52.21. But here, I actually thought I was a little bit late. 52.21, I thought I was a little bit late. And... But it turned out to be okay. And why I took this is that, now these are 15 minutes, but it looked like it just was going to hold 52. So I took the trade at 52.21. Uh, uh, and I got out some at 52.58 on the way up. 52.97, you know, I missed. Now, I on this level, I, I, I took it all out and then it popped again. So I was all out of it right here. But it, you know, 52.92 from 52.21. Uh, Let me just put a close enough. 
But a nice quick trade, though. Very quick trade. I mean, this was, a, you know, maybe 20 minutes total. Uh, probably made a mistake by not watching this pullback a little more and maybe taking it here. But anyway, uh, very, very nice trade. So all in all, a really, really nice day so far. Um, you know, itching it back in the room to see what else happens. So again, I'm going to close this down. Again, if you want to, I, I'm going to put the link in uh, into the text part of the uh, uh, the email that you're getting if you have subscribed to my videos. And there should be a link there for the open house. And it's like say eight dollars and eighty eight cents, uh, February the sixth to the tenth, Monday to Friday, uh, five trading days. We'll get you everything we have to offer real time. Okay, that's our TI Trade Ideas Premium Service. All right. Well, thank you very much for listening, and hope to see you in our trading room tomorrow. Bye bye.